welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a simple email campaign in System.io. Back when I first started freelancing, I totally ignored email campaigns and I absolutely regret it. But fast forward to today and now that I figured it all out, email campaigns are like having an entire team behind you 24-7 selling and building trust. And because it's totally automated, it runs without you. Before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that any links to resources I put in the comment section below of the video, so definitely check those out. And if you find my content useful today, please make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep creating content for you guys. Okay, so for email campaigns to actually be automatically delivered, before you do anything, you actually need to have a lead magnet on a sales page. Now that lead magnet will be something so irresistible to people that they need to exchange it for their email address. And so you can use system.io to do that. And then once that happens, you'll be able to set up an email campaign through system.io and you'll be able to automatically market to those people that have given you your email, have given them your email address. So what does that actually look like? Okay, so this is a squeeze page that I have. It's a really simple one. It's just got two sections to it. Now, if people want this download, all they have to do is enter in their name and their email address. And then a really simple thing that you can do after a page like this is just have a thank you page. Okay, so what does that look like in the back end though? Okay, so I have my squeeze page here. You just have to ignore all this other stuff. And then I've got my thank you page down the bottom there. So before we actually go into setting up the email campaigns, you need to make sure that you have some rules on your squeeze page so that you can actually deliver your email campaigns. So what I usually like to do is I will add the rule. Oops, I'll probably go into here. So I've already added these rules and you can see that I've added a tag. Now adding a tag, that means that when somebody comes into your funnel, that you, you know where they've come in and like what they've downloaded. So that's why you need to do that because it's also going to tell you what email campaign to send them. Right, so that's the first thing I would do is add the tag, right? So all you need to do that is go add action and add the tag and add whatever tag it is that you want to tag them with. If you haven't created the tag, it won't come up in here. So you'll probably need to go to contacts, tags and create it in there first. And sometimes I find you have to refresh the funnel a couple of times for the tag to come up in your list. So that's the first thing that you need to do. Now we can get on to creating your email campaign. So what I usually like to do is have a Google Doc open and I will, you know, write my ideas and I'll write my email campaigns here. And if you're anything like me, you're not really that, you know what you want to say, but you're not quite, you're not very good with words. So I kind of just write like an outline and like bullet points and kind of what I want to say and things like that. And then what I usually do is I come to ChatGPT and I ask ChatGPT to make it better. So I will ask it, can you make this sound better and more simple in an easy to read format um, for an email? And then I would just copy and paste whatever it is that I'd written in my first email and I would go back and forth with ChatGPT until I got it right. And then I would come back to my Google Docs and I would copy and paste it in here and then I would make it like a lot better. So once I had done probably about one to eight emails, because they say it's usually about seven touch points where people can get to know you and trust you, I would then come back into system.io and let's set up a campaign. So I'm going to go to campaigns and I'll create a new one and let's just call it email campaign. I always think it's a good idea to write a description for whatever your email campaigns are, just so that you know you don't forget what, what you're sending basically. So I'm gonna save that. Now I'm gonna click on email campaign. And this is why the Google Doc's really handy because when you go to create, it doesn't actually take you to create the entire email. It asks you to do the step first. So you would come in here and you would copy the subject of your email, the first one. So you would go to there and now you can choose visual editor over classic editor and I'll show you that in a second but let's just go with the classic editor for now and you would go to save and this is why that google doc is really handy because you can see 
you can copy this and you would paste it back in to your campaign. So you could see there. So it makes it really nice and simple. Now, something I want to show you with system.io, which is really cool, is you can do like personalized stuff in your emails. So they're called variables and a lot of email systems have them. Um, but it just makes things a little bit more like unique so that, you know, people feel like that you're talking to them. So you can say, hey, first name, and you can see all the different bits of information that you can put in there. Now, you can only put in this list of information um, because that's the information that System.io has captured. So that's where it pulls from. So you can do things like links as well. If you want to like link to, you know, different funnels or affiliate links you want to put in your emails. And then, of course, you have your sign off, which is already down the bottom. Um, you can also add attachments if you like as well. So I'm just going to do save for now just to save that. Now, I want to say that whenever you write your first email, you always save and test it. Always save and test it because you want to see what it looks like in your email account, if your links are working, everything like that. When you've done that, you can save and publish it. Now, usually the first email of your campaign, you probably want to send, you know, say four hours after somebody has subscribed and gotten your freebie because it's a good amount of time where, you know, you're not spamming people, but like you're just reminding them like, hey, I'm still here. So you can save that. You can go into some more detailed settings um, with times and days and all that kind of stuff, but I just usually stick to something simple just to get myself going. So I will save that and I will exit out of there. So now you can see that the first email is there. So I'm gonna create the next email. Now let's just pretend that this is the second one. So I would have obviously written like eight emails. So I'm just gonna number that email number two, test two, and I will come and I will copy that into here. I'm just going with that classic editor again and you would just copy add all your links do all your formatting again save and test now the difference with your second email is that you're going to be saving it and publishing it and you're going to be activating it so that it goes after the next email after your first email so that was my first email so maybe you want to give like a three-day delay and then you want to activate that Depending on what's in the content of your email depends on sort of the timing um, of your, you know, when you're sending things out. Like if you have an email campaign where it's like, oh, you've only got 24 hours left, then obviously you would set the timing to, you know, 24 hours and then you can exit that. So you can see how the campaign is building up, which is really, really good. I will show you the visual editor. So let's say we're doing the, um, the third email and we're doing the visual editor. So this is where you can make things a little look a little bit pretty if you like. And it works just like system.io does. It's just a little bit more basic. I find the classic editor just a little bit faster and things like that. And I don't I I don't know. I don't feel like that this is usually um, as good or as quick, I should say, but you can drag and drop anything over here and you can format it just like how you do in system.io so you can do all your columns and you can do a button it's very 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 basic um, but I guess with some visual things people prefer it a little bit more but I find if your emails are written well enough people should be able to click on that so you would just save that and we're going to exit out of the visual editor and you'll see that it comes up onto here so you'll see, be able to see what it looks like. Again, make sure you save and test. And then when you save and publish, you would put it after the third email. So maybe you might do another three days and activate that. Okay, so we've got like an email campaign going. If you ever find that you like the formatting of an email or you just like that email and you want to change something, you can come over to these three little dots here and you can actually duplicate it. So that makes it really handy if you just want to, you know, keep the same format of like the visual editor, but you just want to update some text. So that's where that duplicate button comes in handy. Just remember when you duplicate it, you do need to make sure you test it as well. And you do need to come and make sure that it comes after the right email. 
So we'll save that and we'll exit. So now you can see that we have all of those emails. Now, if your emails are out of order or anything like that, it means you need to go back inside the email campaign and you need to change which email you've selected that it comes after. Okay, so in because we've got that email campaign, you can do it two ways. So I'm gonna show you the first way on a funnel. So let me just go to the digital product ideas funnel. So let's just say we have the automation rule that was here and we've added the tags. Um, we've sent an email that delivers the product or the freebie. Now you can add an action here and you can go subscribe to campaign and you would go whatever the campaign was called. I think I called it test. And then that is all set up inside here, right? So you just make sure you save the rule. I'm not gonna save it because I don't need it in there. Now the next place that you can put it, if you really want to um, sort of get into workflows and getting your, you know, segmenting things and making things a little bit more complicated, you can go to create and we'll just call this test again. And you can come into test and you will create the trigger. Now the trigger, remember this is why the tags are really important. So you're going to add the tag and I can't remember what the tag is that I set up. Let's just say it's... Um, I think it's like 130 digital products. Yeah, there you go. Ideas, create that. And then what you can do is you can go to action and you can go to subscribe to the campaign and you can go to the campaign that we just set up. So those are the two ways. Now this way here with the workflows, this allows you to do more complicated things. The other way is a little bit more simple and it just allows you to deliver the email campaign automatically. So if you enjoyed my content today, please like the video, make sure you subscribe, even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.